Oh yeah, you might be looking at these notes thinking, haven't we already done alternating series error bound? And the answer is, yeah, yeah we have. But I thought it was a good time to just kind of remind you that we can use the alternating series error bound, even with Taylor, McLaurin series, power series, just to go over a general term there. Um, so if you're given an alternating series whose terms decrease in absolute value to zero, you can use the alternating series error bound instead of what we just recently learned, the Lagrange error bound. All right, so let's see what this is all about. It says, use the fourth degree Maclaurin polynomial for y equals cosine x to approximate cosine of one. Okay, so cosine of x we know is equal to one minus x squared all over two factorial plus x to the fourth all over four factorial. And then I'm gonna go to minus x to the sixth over six factorial plus dot, dot, dot. And we've got that alternating jam going on, right? Negative one to the n x to the 2n all over 2n factorial plus and so on and so forth. Okay, now looking at this, we're going to use this to approximate cosine of 1, but just the first, well, up to the fourth degree. So cosine of 1 is approximately 1 minus 1 squared over 2 factorial plus 1 to the fourth is 1 over 4 factorial. That's it. That's your approximation right there. Now, if we're simplifying that down, that's 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, plus this would be 1 24th. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 1 24th. So this would be 12 24ths, and 1 24th is 13 24ths. Okay, so that's our approximation. So if we want the upper bound of error for this approximation, you could use the Lagrange error bound, but I think the easier way to go here is using the fact that the terms in this series are alternating, right? and they decrease in absolute value to zero. So I would state that since the terms decrease in absolute value to zero in this alternating series, the first ignored term will be the upper bound of error. I would state all that out if I'm doing a formal justification. So I've got, and then I'd show this, the absolute value of cosine of one, that's the true value, minus our approximation, right? That would be minus, and I'm gonna put in our expanded Maclaurin plug in right there, if you will, which is 1324. So you could do minus 1324. So there we go. That is less than or equal to the absolute value of the first ignored term with one plugged into it, right? So where, what would the next ignored term be? It would be plus minus plus minus one to the sixth over six factorial. So that's over minus one over six factorial, no parentheses there. That would be an absolute value, which equals to 1 over ooh, 720 if you wanted to simplify that out. So that's the upper bound of error. Not bad, by the way. So whatever cosine of 1 is, it's not exactly 1324, but we're off by at most 1 720th in either direction. That's it. So I wanted to show you that you could do this with a Maclaurin series instead of doing it with a Taylor series approximation um, and then using the Lagrange error bound. All right, so you could do it with the alternating series instead of, again, the Lagrange error bound. All right, I'll leave it at that. I will see you in the lesson exercise. This is a quick one, real quick one. Peace.